guys, it is Sonya, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. It is Saturday morning, and if you remember last night, Hannah stayed over, and they may have woohooed a couple of times, and she's just washing up in the bathroom, it looks like. Actually, he just woke up, and he has to use the toilet, so hopefully she'll... Oh, he's just gonna... He's already that comfortable in front of her. <laughs> that is good. Uh, but she just seems to be chilling here with us this morning, which is really nice. Maybe we can make breakfast together. So let's do that. Uh, mm, I no, you don't want to just make one thing. You want to make it for everybody. So let's serve breakfast. Uh, fruit salad, actually. I feel like I always think fruit salad sounds good. And I, I never have the stuff to make it. But maybe I'll do that sometime soon. So why don't you go make fruit salad for both of you? Then you can chill on the couch, watch some television, maybe take uh, Frank for a walk. We're going to give Bean some attention a little bit, too. I want to Simstagram him, though, because how so cute. Look at this little sleepy kitty. He's, like, floating, but, you know, he's still adorable. Oh, yes. Perfect. So cute. Ooh, Simstagram influencer. Gain 250. What? Beans has built up quite the following on Instagram. Think Positively Pet Products has sent him a present in hopes that he might sponsor them someday. Check your household and What do you mean a sponsor? He's a kitty. What did we get? Is this what we got? Oh, that's not our inventory. Okay. Oh, they sent him a nice bed, which we already have and we don't have room for. But that was nice, and there's our table and chairs and stuff. So we're, we're actually going to sell it, but thank you so much to that company, uh, Positively Pet Products. But he's gained 115 followers from that picture. If only that's how followers worked in real life. Uh, it's, it's not, but are you seriously you're going to take some pizza when I'm making us some nice fruit salad? I mean, pizza does sound good. I actually had pizza for dinner. It was pretty good. Oh, no, she's crying over zombies. I miss, like, the world. Like, uh, this is, a uh, Bridgeport in The Sims 3. I definitely miss that world. I think it's gorgeous. But we got some nice places so far in The Sims 4, so I'm not too upset about it. But he's making this fruit salad. Should be just about ready. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and call to meal so everyone can come get some. I, beans better not get up there and eat some, too. Because when I say call the meal, I do not mean beans. Beans. Beans, you better stay right there. I called to meal so Hannah could come get some, but she doesn't seem to be because she has pizza. Oh my god! Okay. Alright. Um, well. Well, Beans. <laughs> well, I was like, okay, I'm about to put it away, and then, like, instantly he's like, well, hello there, fruit salad. How nice to meet you here. Oh, um... I don't have a choice to yell at him. I just have give him some food. A lecture about jumping on counters? Like, he learned apparently not to touch garbage. Oh, now Hannah's leaving. Oh, gosh. I feel like... Let's just trash this. I mean, the cat was eating out of it. Uh, Beans is adorable, but I don't know if I want to eat the same thing he is. Oh, my God. Look at this dog. Hi, pork chop. You are a very pretty dog. And this dog has a shirt on. And I think these are the regulars we usually have. So lots of doggies on our porch. There was like seven cats or something ridiculous last night. So it's nice to see some puppers this morning. And I just left, but she called us and actually said she wants to know if we want to come over to her house to hang out. I mean, she has not gotten enough of her us. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. She has not gotten enough of us and she wants us to come over. It's Saturday. I think we can do that. Uh, We'll come, we won't stay out too late because can't stay away from the animals too long. Uh, but it's Saturday. I don't think we're going to open the clinic today unless there's an emergency, which I highly doubt there will be. So here we are at the house she lives at. And actually, this is her roommate, Dandelion. So first time meeting her, we might as well introduce ourselves. Uh, let's do a friendly introduction to Dandelion. Hello. I've been, uh, you know, woohooing with Hannah. Nice to meet you. I don't think that's what he's saying, but I, I think she gets the gist. She's like, oh, uh, too much information. Thanks anyway. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Alright, so anyway, this is the little house they live in. Uh, it's a house that's already in the 
town. So we just moved into, I don't remember what it's called. I think it's like Bedlington Boathouse maybe. Uh, they, it's very poorly furnished and tiny and you know, it's an EA house. And then there's two bedrooms upstairs. I don't know whose room is what, but you know, they're very basic bedrooms. And this is where she lives. She has very little, this is like her college roommate that uh, she ended up living with, with uh, what little they had. I love that the road is right here. This is actually a really pretty view. Really like it. Really, really like it. Oh, and there's even a car parked over here. <sighs> the little details. Oh, he's chatting up Dandelion. I mean, that's probably not a very good sign for Hannah. Oh, where is she? Let's go talk to Hannah. Um, immediately, first option is woohoo. Uh, let's call her over maybe, and we can all, I don't know why we're chatting outside though. We might as well go in the house. She invited us over to hang out with her, so maybe we should actually form a group with her. We're, Dandelion's not on the go, and she's doing push-ups. Great. Uh, why don't we go upstairs to what I would assume is Hannah's room based on like the color she wears. I'm going to say this is her room. Let's go here together and maybe we can just sit and chat in her room. Um, yeah, not that the, I mean, all there is in here is a bed. So, I mean, it is kind of uh, pushing them to do certain things. Uh, but, you know, she invited us over. So let's do a hip bump because we're energized. Like, what's up, Hannah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. I want to do something fun though. Like, what can they do other than you know, woohoo? We also already have the options to ask to move in. A couple of times, try for baby has popped up. Like, I think he's like ready to jump into things, which is interesting. So I don't think it's gonna be too long before he's just like ready to be like, hey, will you marry me? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, dandelion's like, hey there. Who's your uh, cute friend there, Hannah? Mind if I say hello? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, she's just like creeping on us. Dandelion is so pretty too, though. I made her on a live stream a while back. Oh, well, I, I really like this. They're just all talking, and it's kind of awkward since uh, she's in there. So they're like, "Oh yeah, we were we weren't talking about anything inappropriate or anything." Ooh, let's, uh, you know, like be really flirty and awkward in front of Dandelion. I think that could be kind of awkward and fun. Oh, did she seriously? Did you seriously just sit down and take my spot? This is not okay. Let's go someplace with Hannah. I don't know where, but I mean, she obviously wanted to hang out with us and Dandelion just does not want to give us any sort of alone time. So I think we should go somewhere. Uh, do we want to go to the saloon or the lounge? Maybe we should go to Club Calico. I haven't been there yet. So we're going to go there with Hannah. Uh, let's not bring Dandelion, even though she really wants to be involved. I mean, <laughs> uh, it's a little bit more than friends at this point. So I think I think we want some alone time. Simon is super tired, but we are here at Club Calico. So let's check it out. I remember that this lot has like this beautiful uh, architecture around it. And I, I love this area. I just, I don't know what's in here. <laughs> so let's check out what this uh lounge actually has it doesn't look like it has much of anything there's some computer i didn't even know you could place computers on counters maybe i did i don't know is there anything good to do here there's like nothing here there's there's a bar outside all right this is dina right yep dina why don't you get us some drinks uh let's order drinks for the group uh we would both like um what what would we like maybe just juice on the rocks Ooh, a fizzy fruity drink. That sounds delicious. Uh, that's totally up my alley. So I think they're both going to have that. Oh, he's yelling weird. Simon, calm down. Dina sounded like she was flirty. But yay, they can get some drinks here. That'll be nice. Uh, just get something nice to do during their time together away from the roommate. <laughs> they're just like, okay, finally. Let's drink these. Oh gosh, what if they like drink too much and then they go and mess around some more and then you like accidental things happen. Mm. I like drama. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that in this LP though, but we shall see. For all I know, I might do it in a minute from now, but we shall see. For right now, I think they're just going to like be flirty, like too flirty in front of like this random lady at the bar. She's just like, I hate my life. What is this? <laughs> oh gosh, but they are so cute. I really like them together. Uh, and I think he's doing pretty good with the vet practice too. I think we're going to want to hire another person. We're up at three stars, which is really, really good. Um, and right now we just have her. She's neutral. So we might want to promote her or something. Uh, we want her to get some training for her vet skill. 
that's a good idea. Um, so maybe we'll go to the clinic just to do that. Like open it, but just allow customers just so we can bring her in and kind of manage her a little bit. And also I want to use some of our perk points, which we haven't really used. Uh, so we can lower employee training costs, which is good because we haven't trained anyone. <laughs> we can get a second vet. Yeah. And more patient patients. That would be really, really good. Uh, so I do want to focus on the vet a little bit because, I mean, it is a huge part of his life. And honestly, if Hannah wants something to do with us in like a serious way, she needs to understand like all of the in and outs of the vet practice because she will be helping us if she ends up being a very important part of our lives. They're still chatting it up and drinking over here. Hopefully they will. What are you doing, Simon? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, is she joining us? There are people here, guys. What are you doing? Oh my god. Dina's just like chilling there and you, at least Simon like slowly jumped in. Like, do you, <laughs> look at her disgust right now. She's like, are you serious? What even is happening? Simon at least jumped in. Hannah's just like slowly making her way in, like completely naked. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, these. <laughs> I am so amused right now. Guys, like, what are you doing? Oh, he is so tired. He's like, I want to go home, but you know, I'm kind of swimming naked in the pool. Oh, there's so many people here. What are you guys doing? Seriously, go home. Go home. This is bad. Go home. You can invite Hannah back over afterwards, but is he just gonna walk home like that? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I love Simon. He's such a wonderful sim. Where are you going, bud? You don't think you should put some clothes on? No? Just gonna let it all hang out? All hang loose for the world to see? Oh, hey, bro. What's up? <laughs> oh my god. I can't get over this. I'm just gonna walk by all the birds. Mm hmm. Oh boy. All right. Well, he's finally almost home. I can't believe he just didn't. He's that tired that he didn't care he wasn't wearing clothes. That's so crazy. <laughs> he instantly has clothes now that he's at home, which is kind of weird. We're gonna go ahead and uh, sleep for a little bit. It looks like, oh, Beans is using the litter. Great. It's nice and dirty now. Uh, once we wake up, we're gonna give the pets some attention. I was thinking uh, we're gonna see if there's any more toys we can get i think we already have all the cat toys you can get though like we have like the dancer wand and like some balls and stuff that he can play with uh but we might get some agility stuff for frank because i'd like to see him get better at that because that was really fun like the first time we did that uh he was actually quite the natural at it so i was really proud of him but maybe if we get some stuff um we can uh get him to get better at that which would be amazing so actually we are going to first things first is ask him school for waking up no that's okay uh we're gonna ask him to go potty first and then we're gonna hang out with beans for a bit we're gonna play with the wand oh all right maybe we'll put off playing with the wand for a second you need to go to the bathroom simon you were in there you can clean the litter box we're going to play with the wand a little bit with Beans because, you know, Beans needs some love and attention. Uh, I feel like <laughs> when you guys like commented, like, do you ever play with the cat? And I, I do it constantly off camera. I guess I just never, never record it because I do a little bit of playing off camera um, between episodes, like when they're trying to go to sleep and stuff. And like, I'm always like, oh, Beans is so cute. Well, let's give him a treat. Beans. I like love this cat so much. He reminds me a lot of my cat, so that's probably why. Oh, he's so cute. So cute. Wow, okay. Uh, oh, there's a broken toilet, great. Uh, I guess we'll just replace it. We don't have a ton of money, so we should probably, it's still Saturday night. Um, gosh, how is it still Saturday? That was our whole day. We, we went skinny dipping and like just left it all out for everybody to see, which was interesting. And Dandelion wouldn't leave us alone when we went to Hannah's house. Hannah like couldn't get enough of us. They're soulmates. <gasps> soulmates? Are you serious? Wow. Soulmates on skinny dipping. Is that a good title for this episode? That might be a good title. <laughs> Watch it immediately get like flagged inappropriate for advertisers demonetize immediately uh <laughs> i might have to do that soulmates and skinny dipping okay cool i also have been wanting to get frank to meet 
with a doggy before before we do the good old snip snip. Uh, where is, oh my gosh, Frank, where are you? <laughs> I didn't even know he wasn't home. Where is Beans? Is Beans home? Uh, Beans is right outside. I mean, that's not that bad because we let him be outside. But I, I want to ask him to feel the love. That is so cute. I want him to mate with Rosie, honestly. I want Rosie to have Frank's babies. I just think it would be so cute. So we're gonna see if we can go ask him to do that. Rosie's right here, actually. All right, let's see. Let's see if it works. Is he gonna go over to Rosie? Well, there's Rosie. Bye, Rosie. It's not gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, that's so sad. Encouraged to meet with Rosie. Try again. Please go have puppies. Oh, woo -woo. oh he's running. He he's off on his mission right now. Rosie, Rosie. Oh, she's just like, get away from me. Oh, they're barking at each other. I don't think that means anything. Uh, maybe we can try again? Courage to, oh, we can't meet with her anymore? That's weird. Yeah, I don't think that worked. Uh, who else can we meet with? These are all female dogs? I mean, Grant's kind of cute. Granted, like, that's an interesting name for a female dog, but cute dog nonetheless. Watch this have already worked, and, like, Frank's just, like, having puppies with everybody in town. That would be quite funny, actually. All right, let's see if Frank's going to go mate again, or if he did already. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Oh, this person's carrying flowers. Great. All right. Oh, looks like Grant is right here. Let's see if this works. Hi. Oh, they don't like each other. They're just growling, like... No, I don't want to do anything with you. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get, like, uh, him to have any <laughs> sort of um, puppies. So we're going to fill all these bowls for right now, though. It's okay. We got a nice nighttime jog past the time. It's now almost 2 a.m. Is that Beans walking by? No, Beans is inside. Okay. Beans has his to toys to play with. He's got plenty to do. That's good. Um, oh gosh, the place is a mess. Oh, he's sad. Why is he sad? Pet rejection? Simon's encouragement did not work from encouragement to me. Aw, he's sad that <laughs> Frank did not want to have puppies with those dogs. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and sleep. You don't need to cry out. He's kind of hungry, but you know, he can eat in the morning. Simon's never going to get any sleep at this point because Frank was rolling in puddles and now he has like bugs all over him. I think we really need to give him a bath. So if we could wake up Simon and give him a bath, because this is really bad. This is so gross. Poor baby. It's his own fault, but, you know, when it's given a bath. Oh, look at him. He looks scared. I mean, he looks adorable, but look at, like, how his ears, like, went up. Oh, buddy. Did you just go back to sleep? We need to bathe you. Excuse you. Wake up. He's like, I do not want to take a bath right now. Excuse you. We need to give you a bath. Is he saying no? Oh, okay, finally, finally. Because, like, you obviously need a bath. That's where Beans is always in his litter box. Just creating a mess. Look at his little face. when <laughs> He's like, I really gotta try to push this. Oh my god, they're just so disgusting. I apologize. It's just like, the look that he has on his face when he's in there kind of funny. Hopefully this will get like the flies and stuff to go away. I don't know if that's something just from being that dirty or if um, it's like something to go to the vet about. I'm not really sure. Oh, I got no sleep. I really need to open the clinic today. Oh, they seem to be gone. So I think he's okay. All right. So we're going to sleep for a little bit longer and then we're going to open the clinic. Uh, just do a little bit of work there. Let's go to the city and take in a show you in. <gasps> okay. That's not right now though. I think that's later. But, my gosh, Hannah just wants to spend all of the time with Simon, which is really cool. Uh, I'm glad that that's going well for them. It's just, I also have other responsibilities. Uh, things are going really fast, actually. And I think he's, he's pretty happy with that. He really likes her. And, I mean, it's been a while since he's had somebody he felt like he could trust so much. And, obviously, last time that didn't work out so well. Um came to my attention some of you guys didn't realize that his ex is actually this guy right here Winston uh they are divorced <laughs> 
and yeah things just didn't work out he's snobby creative art lover who actually really doesn't like animals and simon's love for animals and desire to become a vet kind of was more important than somebody that did not like animals so oh my god speaking of beans oh look at him he's so cute i don't know how he, simon ever managed to get that cat in that household to begin with but you know he did it somehow, but I think that's enough sleep. We're going to go ahead and head off to the clinic now and just do a little bit of, I guess, rearranging of stuff, working on some perk points, maybe making some stuff for the little uh, vending machine, seeing if we can get some training for Supriya, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I think next part, we're going to majorly focus on the vet and, I don't know, maybe tone it down on the Hannah for a little bit. <laughs> I mean, that's up to Simon. I think Simon's really enjoying all the attention and he really enjoys her, so totally up to him but we're gonna go ahead and disallow new customers and open the vet so that way Supriya will come but nobody no customers will come all right so let's go ahead and manage her uh Supriya how do we manage her okay uh I don't want to promote her immediately we're gonna go ahead and check up on her and then probably praise her afterwards and then we're gonna pay for some training uh Pay for training, brief training. We'll start with that because uh, I just want her to get better at her craft. Uh, work is what work is. It's just a means to an end for me. Oh, no. Thanks for the feedback. I won't let it go to my head. Oh, gosh. I just found out about an underground abandoned warehouse. Uh, at 8 o'clock? I mean, maybe. I'm saying yes, but like we'll see later. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and thank you. This is a great opportunity to refine my skills. I'll go after my shift. Perfect. Um, so we're going to ask her to craft some treats. Uh, like the... Oh, none of these. Let's ask her to craft some relaxation serums, please. Thank you. It looks like people want to come to the vet, but we're kind of open, kind of closed. I said disallow new customers. Oh, well, we already have one anyway, so I guess we're going to go ahead and deal with Miss... Uh, are you cooking in our back room? Excuse me. Oh, Katarina, this is unacceptable. We're, you're here to get your pet, like, fixed up. You do not just come cooking in our break room. Do you want me to look at your, like, biker cat or not? Oh, did your biker cat just puke all over my place again? Oh, your cats are always doing this. I wanted to like work on the clinic so much. So I wonder if like, I, I can probably read a guide to figure this out, but um, I wonder if you ever actually have to go to the surgery station or do you, can you just choose to? It's gilded guts disorder. That does not sound like something you can treat easily, but apparently you can with a placebo drug. So, you know, that's good. Welcome to The Sims. Simon has completed examining and treating Josie. She will be feeling much better now. Thank you. Oh, a four-star rating from you. I'm happy with that. Great service. All right, actually, let's go into here and see what we can do here. Um, Even though we already paid for this, we're going to lower the cost of uh, training employees because we're going to still have to do that. And I want to get an additional vet. Um which the first one is up here for 350 so we will do that um patient patience i think we probably want that right uh do we need inspirational speech uh no uh but i think patient patience they will be less likely to get upset if it takes a while for us to get to them i think that's a really good idea so we're going to get patient patients as well. And now we are down to a lower amount of, I mean, we still have 1570, which is crazy considering we bought three things already. So we have to, like room for more stuff, but I don't think we're going to get that stuff just yet, but we will look into hiring another employee next part and, you know, really working on the clinic. Uh, can I get her to clean up? Uh, responsibilities clean. Go clean, please. <laughs> He's just like, I have to go to the bathroom first. And then I can tell her to clean. I don't know if she... Should she automatically know to clean up that stuff? She's just standing there. Sapria, what are you doing? She's not doing anything. Uh... 
Is she gonna clean now? I think she is. She's walked over to the vomit. Maybe. I don't know. We might just have to clean it up ourselves. Oh, there we go. Just as I decide I'm going to do it myself, she starts. Perfect. Okay, so I think we're next part we are going to be hiring a new employee uh, and see who has what skills. It uh, doesn't look like anyone here has any good vet skills anyway, but we'll look into that more for next part because we're going to be able to hire another one and we're also getting uh, Sapria some training. In the meantime, Simon has had some fun skinny dipping and hanging out with Hannah and, you know, trying to get Frank to <laughs> have puppies with dogs that don't like him. That didn't work so well. And of course, Beans stole some food. Typical Beans. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part and uh, are looking forward to a vet-centric episode next time. This is actually going to be the only episode this week. Uh, this week, instead of two cats and dogs, there will be two parenthoods. So it'll be a little while until the next one, but uh, it should be worth it. I think it's going to be fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.